As I was researching for this video, I came across study after study that highlighted the immense benefit of a low-protein, whole-food, plant-based diet for halting and reversing chronic kidney disease. If you have time, head over and read this case report. It's amazing. I also then saw countless recovery stories from stage 3, 4 and even stage 5 chronic kidney disease using this same diet. Now before we go any further, I need to mention that those with any stage of chronic kidney disease must consult their primary care doctor, nephrologist and renal dietitian before making any changes to their diet. This is because those with the disease can have trouble with certain nutrients, one of which is potassium, and chronic kidney disease can cause a buildup of potassium in the blood, which can be extremely dangerous. But with that said, we're now going to look at two stage 3 recoveries. This is Brian, who after having routine blood work was told his kidney function was poor. He was already on four blood pressure medications and had high triglycerides of 2000 milligrams per deciliter. Brian was referred to a nephrologist who told him that he had chronic kidney disease. His GFR, which shows how well the kidneys are filtering, was 42 and he was told the best he could hope for was to slow the decline. Over that year, Brian developed mild atrial fibrillation. In early 2020, he started to look for dietary solutions to his health problems and discovered the keto diet and said he thought it would suit him perfectly because it meant he wouldn't have to give up meat. So in March of 2020, Brian started a strict keto diet and within a couple of weeks, he had lost roughly five pounds. But he said he wasn't feeling great and so decided to get more blood work to check on his kidney function his GFR had deteriorated to 33. His doctor said that if it went below 30, they should discuss dialysis and transplant options. He said this came as a real shock. But around the same time, Brian got a notification from Netflix that the Forks Over Knives documentary would soon be removed from the streaming platform. So he decided to watch it. And Brian said, here is the solution to my metabolic problems. He went and bought the book, The China Study, and said, I was convinced. Over Easter weekend of 2020, I became a whole food plant-based eater, literally overnight. I followed the whole food plant-based diet religiously. After just 12 weeks on the diet, he had some more blood work done. When he called up for his results, he spoke to the manager of the clinic, who started reading the results to him, and then stopped and said, this is amazing, I want to show the doctor. A few minutes later, his doctor called back. This is unbelievable, he said. In just three months, Brian's GFR had increased from 33 to 50, and his uric acid, creatinine, and triglycerides were all normal. The doctor said that he had never seen such dramatic results. Brian has now gone from taking four blood pressure medications to two, and he's cut the dose in half for those two. His average blood pressure is now 112 over 70, and he hasn't had atrial fibrillation since he started the diet. The icing on the cake is he also lost 28 pounds. Brian said, I've been enjoying lots of delicious foods as well. When it comes to breakfast, I've changed from eggs and bacon to a bowl of oats and fresh chopped fruit. For lunches and dinners, I eat a lot of what I call chopped bowls with grains such as quinoa and buckwheat, veggies such as cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, carrots and green beans diced into bite-sized pieces and flavorful dressings such as soy, yogurt, curry sauce. They're tasty and completely plant-based. My wife and I also enjoy making homemade flatbreads. Our favourite is topped with hummus, tomato and bell pepper. I also eat quite a lot of apples and pears every day. This transformation has truly been a miracle for me. Sandra was once a fit and healthy long distance runner, but after experiencing severe sciatica for two years, it had resulted in some weight gain. After back surgery, she was advised to get more active and to have a physical exam. She said, I went home that day and for some reason my intuition directed me to the Forks Over Knives site. I read everything I could about a whole food plant-based diet. I decided then and there to give it a try. She got her physical the day after she started the diet and a week later went back to her doctor to get the results of her blood work. It was then that she was given the news that at the age of 70, she had stage 3 kidney disease. Her physician told her she would eventually need dialysis and was sent to a nephrologist. She described her nephrologist as very somber about her test results. Sandra only had a kidney function of 44%. She asked him what she could do to cure the disease and if she could turn it around, and the response was not positive. She mentioned to him that a week earlier she had switched to a whole food plant-based diet, but her doctor was unimpressed. Sandra went home to do some online research on the disease and was extremely upset with the devastating statistics she found. However, she said, I was still convinced I could at least slow the progression down with my diet. 
Fortuitously, I came across a success story from a young woman who completely cured her stage 4 kidney disease with a plant-based diet. I knew then that I too could beat the odds. I continued eating what I thought was the yummiest diet I had ever been on, a way of eating that regardless of what doctors told me about my health, I would continue forever. I loved the freshness of everything. I could really taste the flavour of the food and found the variety of greens and other salad ingredients tasted so much better than I'd experienced ever. I never missed the meat or dairy products and I faithfully took my vitamin B12 supplements. She said despite eating well, she was still dreading seeing her nephrologist again. She was scared that he might say that her new test results indicated her kidney function had dropped even more. She'd also gotten an ultrasound and was worried to see what those results were too. Two months later, she went back for her next appointment. Sandra sat nervously watching as her nephrologist brought out his laptop. He pulled up a chart of her kidney readings over the last 12 years. She had no idea that most of the time she had been in stage 2 kidney failure, with her kidneys functioning at around 50%. She was really upset that no doctor had bothered to mention that to her before. And this appears to be a common complaint I've found whilst researching for this video. The doctor then showed Sandra the severe drop on the chart when her kidneys dipped to that 44% functioning, which is stage 3 kidney failure. But then he began to smile. He showed her the results of the most recent blood tests. Sandra's kidneys were now functioning at 62%, the best they had been in over 12 years. He said kidneys functioning over 60% were healthy and that when he looked at her ultrasound, it too displayed totally healthy kidneys. She said, I mentioned that I had planned to again ask his opinion on how to beat stage 3 kidney disease. He responded by saying, you already have. So happy for me, he was completely puzzled over how this could happen, especially in less than two months. The biggest surprise for her was when he said she didn't have to see him again because she was cured. Subsequent tests found that her kidneys were functioning at 67%. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.